Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. My video title, you know what this video is about. We have the Celtics versus the Mavericks NBA Finals. As you guys know, the Mavericks defeated, of course, the Timberwolves in five. The Celtics defeated the Pacers, um, they swept them, you know, defeated them in four. And now we're getting a big showdown between two juggernaut teams. Well, mostly one juggernaut team and another team that's kind of been, I think, the second fifth seed team to make the finals. The last team to do that and the first team to do that was the Miami Heat a few years ago in 2020. So, so we're going to see the fifth seed Mavericks go out there and try to get it done. Now, entering this game, of course, a lot of people are going over the strengths. Look at the strengths of the Celtics, the three-point shooting they have. They um, did it with the league in like three-point percentage and the most attempts as well. They find a way to you know, utilize the three-point ball very well. So Missoula, ever since he got to being the head coach of the Celtics, has been doing that and utilizing that. And that's like his whole game plan, really. Look at um, Ime Doka. His, his style was a little different. You know, he was more on the defensive side for them. And their defense kind of decreased a little bit. You know, them losing Robert Williams, of course, and Marcus Smart. And also, he made Doka not being the head coach. But the past few years, the offense has increased a lot. They've been like a team that kind of like going out there and be able to score. Guys go out there taking more three-point attempts. Guys go out there taking more shots and stuff and just playing a faster paced style. And on um, the Celtics, it worked out for them. They won 64 games this season. And then they enter in the... Um, they, they, they said they enter in the um, but the finals, winning at least 75 games and with, with, um, with 20 or less losses. So they've been playing very, I mean, like 25 less losses, something like that. It's, it's some like record they had, but um, they've been playing very good, very good basketball. Um, going out there and just dominate, you know, and their perimeter defense is very good. Now the interior defense might be a little different than what it was, but the but in, inside, but like on the outside when they guard around the perimeter, when Jason Tatum, you have a Jalen Brown, you have Derek White, who's a very good defender, who's on um, all defensive team again this year. He's an amazing player. He's um a guy who ever since he got to the Celtics has just been a spark plug for them. Um, with the Spurs, of course, we know he had his moments with the Spurs and stuff. Um, but when he got to the Celtics, I feel like he just kind of like clicked with them perfectly, and he kind of like came out of his shell and became a different. player player a good player like almost like an all-star type borderline type of player and he's been playing phenomenal a phenomenal defender as well like that and um you see him they got all these different guys that can go out there you know drew holiday of course who can go out there and defend around the perimeter Porzingis is their interior defender they got um who's a good rim protector um he's still injured i don't know if he's going to be back by the time the um the finals happen but we'll see what happens uh, i think he's um I, I think he had like some type of like calf injury it was a calf injury or something it was like a strained calf or some type of injury he had or a shin or something that he had that happened in the first round against the heat so we'll see if Przingis can come back if he does come back that'd be very good for them because he can stretch the floor you know um, his, his height his ability to make a mismatch for a lot of people where they have to draw double teams in the Mavericks play kind of a small ball type of style a little bit you know Gafford of course is a pretty good defender inside and um, of course they got Ivy um who is um had like a, a neck injury who's out the uh, I think He's back now, but he had a little neck injury, he was banged up and stuff, but they have some guys who can um, do some stuff, but I think Przingis will be a mismatch, you know, like that he have a good advantage against those guys. So we'll see what happens, what the Celtics do, what the Mavericks do. But yeah, the Celtics' strengths is that, you know, three-point shooting, the um, perimeter defense, and the rebounding. They, they find a way to get those boards. They find a way to launch those threes and hit a lot of those threes as well. Amazing team of amazing players. And you look at the Mavericks, Playmakers. They have Luka Doncic, Kyrie Evans, two of the best playmakers. Um, you got you know, LeBron up there as well. You know, Jokic, of course, as well up there. But Kyrie and Luka are probably two of the best playmakers in the NBA today. Um, guys who can give them the ball and make a play on the offensive side like that for their team, like that. Either it's for themselves or for someone else to send the play up. Very good. And their interior defense, um, Actually, it's not too bad, you know, like, uh, basically seeing how they stepping up, you know, Ivy and how Gafford, especially Gafford stepping up and been utilizing that pick and roll a lot too, you know, um, on the offensive side and the defensive side, I've been seeing him go up there, he has some long arms, he go up there and just sending stuff, like they did a very good job against the Timberwolves, uh, Anthony Edwards really didn't drive a lot in that series, you know, we've seen him with the previous series go out there and just drive and drive and be dominant, but he got to that Mavericks series and Gafford did a pretty good job. A lot of a lot of the Mavericks players did a good, good job and like staying with them. PJ Washington, all those guys did a good job switching and staying with them and making it very hard on some of the contest shots. And his past, the past two, the last two games he played pretty good, but overall the series he was kind of lackluster a little bit. They did a good job in kind of neutralizing that. But yeah, but the Mavericks do a good job on um, defensively in that type of um, style, switching well and stuff. Of course, you know they have um amazing schemes. Jason Kidd doing a good job last year. You know they kind of like was getting their bearing a little bit and then this year you've seen how they kind of got everything together so now we're going to see a great showdown i think uh, overall of course luka Doncic is the best player on the floor in my opinion um uh, if you guys been following the channel the past two years i picked luka Doncic to be mvp he haven't won it yet next year i'm gonna probably pick him again to, to win it but 
He's a five-time first-team All-NBA in just six years. He's an amazing player. You know, like I mentioned before, many times on the channel, I feel like he's a Lebr like LeBron James-esque with a better shooting and less athleticism, of course, way less athleticism and less defense. But he's still, he, he playing a similar style to LeBron. You know, a guy who's on the floor and just make plays for anybody. Like, like when the ball is in his hand, just make a play, a positive play. And look at one of those players. And Kyrie Irving is a magician with the basketball. Amazing player. But I think if you go on to rank all the players on the floor, I think it'd be Luka, then it'd be Jason Tatum, and then you can kind of say Kyrie, Jalen Brown, you can kind of neutralize themselves out. And after that, I think it might be Celtic players, then you get to the Maverick players. So the um, Celtics got very um, deep, like six. Their first six is amazing. You know, um, the Porzingis come back healthy. You know, they have, of course, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, you have Derek White, you have Al Horford, you have Drew Holiday, and you got Porzingis. So you have a nice core right there. And uh, you know, we know Hauser can shoot some threes, you know, Pritchard shoot threes as well, but those guys are not like, some of you just like terrified of, but, on um, the first six they have, amazing. And they all work well together in sync. The Mavericks have Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic, that killer duo. Of course, PJ Washington is cool. You know, Ivy is cool. Gafford is cool. And, you know, different, like Tim Hart uh, Hardaway Jr., he has moments where, like, he, he's like one of those streaky players. He has moments where he can be on fire, and he has moments where he's off, too, as well. And we've seen some plays he made by Dante Exum. You know, Dante Exum, the infamous name. You know, Dante Exum um, went out there and made some plays. Man, that one, um, the past few games, been making a little... A little, little on like a little spark, a little bit off the bench for them, but overall, I think of course it's the Luka Doncic, the best player, and then you can kind of say Jason Tatum, and then you can kind of neutralize Jalen Brown and Kyrie Irving. And after that, Celtic players really. Celtics got a nice roster. They have 64 wins for a reason. They're the best record in the NBA. I'm tired of the NBA for a reason. So we're gonna see a great series, and a lot of the um like the predictions for some of the, for some of like the other like the networks and the media and stuff are saying that the Celtics are winning six. In my opinion, I, I think the you know as you guys know. I'm a Heat fan. I don't want to see anybody in the East, you know, win anything. But from the perspective of that, I can, I can kind of see them thinking that because Celtics, they have a great team, amazing team. And for them, it's really championship or bust. You know, they have all this. They have, um, I won't say easy path to get to the finals because they, they would have probably still won against those teams if those teams was healthy, some of those teams. But um, then they had like a little easier route. Maybe, I think, because, you know, the injuries that happen, you know, injuries do happen in the game. But then you see the Celtics, how he kind of like, you know, we're going to see them kind of get real tested, battle tested against the Mavericks in this final. So it's going to be very good to see. I think the Mavericks probably can, they might can get it done. They might can get it done at seven. But I think the winner, whoever winning this series is going to either win, they're going to win either six or seven. They're going to be like, they're going to get pushed to the limits. I think close, either close to the limits or pushed to the limits like that. I think like both of these teams can get hot. And like, especially a guy like Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. Like, I think the last game they scored 36 apiece. Like, when they get on fire, they go out there and start dominating, gonna be amazing. But Kyrie Irving gonna be in a different atmosphere. You know, last time what happened, you know, when he was with the Nets, he was with the Celtics, where he stepped on a logo, and the Celtic fans still hate him for that. They were throwing bottles at him. They shouldn't throw anything, of course, but they are throwing bottles at him. They was doing, uh, F Kyrie. Kyrie was flicking them off and all that stuff. And the first game is gonna be in Boston. First two games, actually, of course. Um, so we're gonna see if Kyrie Irving can tune that noise out and see what happens. It should be a very intense, a very um like robbery um base, like um you know kind of like kind of robbery base, not like a, a, a deep rooted robbery like a Celtics and Lakers or kind of the new era of Celtics and Heat type stuff, but kind of in the sense of like okay Kyrie Irving the former player. Now the players don't have a resentment for him, but the fans have resentment for him. So we're gonna see some great things. So I'm very pumped up and excited to see what happens. You know June 6 is the first playoff game. So yeah. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.